Are you interested in ecology, conservation, wildlife, natural resources, or the environment? If so, consider earning a PhD in wildlife and forestry. This worldwide learn guide can help you find the right program in this exciting and growing industry. Foresters and conservation scientists study wildlife, wetlands, and forests, inform ecological policy, and manage public and private land. Some assess the health of the ecosystems and suggest changes to improve their viability. Others study climate change and ways to reverse it. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS, more than 66% of conservation scientists work for government. The remaining professionals work in private industry as forest managers and conservation consultants. Job titles include park ranger conservation biologists, scientists, foresters, professors, and consultants. According to the website Careers in Forestry and Natural Resources, sponsored by the National Science Foundation, students pursuing a PhD in wildlife and forestry can specialize in areas such as fish and wildlife management, parks, recreation, and tourism, management and conservation, policy and planning, forest and natural resource science, environmental science and technology, wood and paper science, and genetics and biotechnology. If you've decided pursuing a PhD in wildlife and forestry is the right path for you, it's time to start researching potential programs. If you know what kind of program you're looking for, making your initial list of schools can be easy. Start by identifying core, criteri core criteria like accreditation, cost, location, availability of online courses, program requirements, and availability of financial aid. The full text associated with this video provides the su suggestions and links to resources that may prove valuable during your research. Now that you have a list of potential programs, narrow your list using more in-depth criteria. Ask yourself questions such as, first, is my chosen specialty part of the PhD program? Does the school have a rich history and good reputation? Is the faculty well qualified? Next, what are the program's research centers like? And finally, does the program provide opportunities for field research? The article accompanying this video contains a great deal of information that may help you research PhD programs in wildlife and forestry. At this stage, you have a list of programs that meet your unique needs. When filling out applications, make sure you take your time and fill out the application materials thoroughly. The review committee is unlikely to be impressed by a hastily written statement of purpose or incomplete application materials. Keep in mind, most applications require transcripts, prerequisite courses and degrees, letters of recommendation, and qualifying exams. Remember, all programs will charge application fees, and some top schools may require evidence of original research or samples of academic writing. While you wait to hear from your chosen schools, keep current in your field by subscribing to academic journals, joining professional organizations and associations like the Wildlife Conservation Society, the World Wildlife Fund, the National Plant Board, or the World Organization for Animal Health, and attend academic conferences. By earning your PhD in wildlife and forestry, you not only open doors for career achievement and advancement, but you also serve the environment, and in that sense your chosen career can benefit the world at large. Visit WorldWide Learn for all of your education resource needs.